Commitment 2012 coverage for you right now. And Republican presidential candidate Ron Paul is at UC Davis tonight, but it wasn't his first stop in the area. KCRA 3's Tom Duhane got an exclusive interview with Ron Paul about his role in the race to the White House. Tom? And you're going to see that in just a moment. First, uh, let me show you what's happening here on the, on the West Quad, where uh, a, a platform is set for a Ron Paul speech here coming up in a couple of hours. Many students already gathering to get a good spot to get a look at him. Paul says today he's already winning by pushing his libertarian agenda. He calls the Freedom Campaign to the forefront to impact the Republican Party. It's a message well received by young people, as we saw earlier today in Rancho Cordova. Supporters greeting Ron Paul at a campaign luncheon. Thank you for coming. For $350, each person got to shake hands with the presidential candidate from Texas and have a picture taken. That was great. I got to take three pictures, actually. It's probably one of my best experiences in my life so far. <laughs> it was great. It was great. Yeah, he's a he's a really nice guy. The crowd of 100 people was noticeably young, mostly in their 30s and 40s. Paul's fundraising speeches are closed to the media, but the candidate did give KCRE 3 News an exclusive interview. Why does this 76-year-old congressman connect so well with youth? I think they realize what they're get, inheriting, what they're getting from the older generation, debt, big government, invasion of their privacy, wars that never end. He's hit a lot of the messages that appeals to the youth, uh, the war message, uh, or anti-war message. I feel like my future will be protected with Ron Paul, and I don't feel like the other ones really have much of a concern. Although Mitt Romney nearly has the Republican nomination sewn up, Paul says he's staying in the race to influence the party. Appeal to the hearts and minds of people so they really believe in something. We want to change the status quo. We want to change the foreign policy. We want to change the monetary policy. We want to balance budget and we want personal liberties protected. And back live to the UCD campus where uh, supporters are setting up signs in advance of the rally here, which they hope will attract at least a few or several hundred students from the campus, a uh, large residence campus here of nearly 25,000 to 30,000. Uh, they're hoping to get a good crowd. By the way, the speech here is at 7 o'clock tonight. It is open to the public. The Memorial Union West Quad, and he starts at 7 o'clock. Reporting live at UC Davis, Tom Duhane, KCRA 3 reports. All right, Tom, thanks for that.